एंड वेलकम दिस इज नसरीन शेख एंड यूर वॉचिंग इट्स टूमोरो न्यूज डेट टॉल फ्रॉम हैवी रेन्स फ्लडिंग राइज इज इन इजिप्ट Several people have died since heavy rains and flooding began to paralyze Egypt's capital Cairo and other cities. Al Watan newspaper reported on Thursday that 9 people had been killed in at least 4 cities with most of the victims including children dying from electrocution by power cables that were submerged by flood waters. The Associated Press news agency meanwhile put the death toll at 11 sitting update statements released on Thursday by police departments and hospitals in governments that were not affected by the downpours in the capital the rains and the flooding which started on Tuesday also caused enormous traffic jams and prompted authorities to close schools and universities in the greater Cairo area on Wednesday In the Mediterranean city of Alexandria the heavy rain caused a three story building to collapse killing a 7 year old child and injuring her 19 year old brother according to the city's civil protection authorities Tuesday's rainfall in Alexandria was reminiscent of the deadly flooding in 2015 which killed five people and led to the resignation of then governor Hani El Mazri Thunderstorms are not unusual at this time of the year but a persistent circulating storm low is rare the forecast for the weekend shows the responsible low pressure center depending a little and generating significant thundery rain areas most at risk from flooding and lightning strikes include alexandria port said and the north of the sinai peninsula There are two large scale influences on the weather that are currently in phase over eastern Africa. Firstly, the waters of the Indian Ocean are warmer than unusual of the African coast and secondly, a wave in the upper atmosphere known as the Madan Julian oscillation is encouraging any thunderstorms of areas of low pressuring to deepen. These two have contributed to the recent flooding in Kenya with the MJO likely to have strengthened the downpours in Egypt. The chaos caused by the overnight rain in Cairo has highlighted the city's infrastructure problems and the perceived negligence of its local government. The bustling city of 20 million people receives very little rainfall, but its wrecked infrastructure is often exposed as unreliable when it does rain with most of its streets becoming treacherously muddy or flooded. The overnight rain across the city lasted about an hour. Commuters said their average 60 minutes journey home from the city center took as many as 6 hours. Some school buses were not able to drop children home until well after nightfall. The government said the two suburbs had received at least 650,000 cubic meters cubic feet of perception in just 90 minutes on Tuesday, overwhelming the city's sewage and drain system. Egypt Air said it has delayed some flights on Tuesday because passengers were stuck on the roads and unable to get to the airport. A part of the old Cairo airport terminal which has been under renovation was also flooded with footage on social media showing rainwater pouring into the hallway. Trucks fanned out across Cairo to drain water from flooded areas. A key highway connecting Cairo to other provinces was closed, the state run Al Ahram Daily reported. The Civil Aviation Ministry said the terminal was only being used by a private carrier for one or two flights a day and shared photos of it after it was cleaned up. The government insisted that building the new capital would not derail or reduce efforts of upgrade Cairo's infrastructure and enhance its position as a major holiday destination but the latest bore of rain related mayhem has shown that a great deal of work still needs to be done that's all for now for more news updates stay tuned with us it's tomorrow news nasreen shake for more weather updates do like share and subscribe our channel